When I was in the eighth grade, my dad had worked for the big timber companies most of his career. He stepped outside the house and said, son, we have a chance to bid on a farm and buy some property. Of course, I had been wanting a bass boat all that time. And he said, we, or we can buy a bass boat, but we can't do both. And uh, he said, what do you want to do? And I said, well, I'd really rather have the land. So that's when we got our start. We bought that first farm in 78 and kept it six years and sold it. And I've been doing it on this place for 30 years, taking care of the property. And it's amazing to me how fast that 30 years has gone by. It's just like that. And here we are today. We've got around 1,200 acres that we get to hunt on and enjoy. We ride four-wheelers, ATVs, horses. Our primary objective is timber, timber management, or growing timber. We plant the, the loblolly pines, ultimately trying to grow to a chip and saw. We do have a burn program in place. Every couple of years we have rotations on about 100, 200 acres at the time we'll burn. It's been interesting, the burn program, for sure. <laughs> it looks really good after you burn, and it, it does knock back the competition for a couple of years. It definitely helps, and the wildlife loves it. Uh, I've actually seen turkeys come in, you know, and the ground will still be smoking from after we, we burn, and they, they walk through there. I guess they like to eat those bugs that are parched. Uh, you know, I don't know, but, but it, it enhances the wildlife to do that, too. Our secondary objective would be wildlife. We have 16 food plots, half of which we plant for uh, the quail. And when I say quail, it's there for the food source, but also cover because the quail that we hunt here are, are pen raised. So we just can't sustain a wild population, predators, whatnot. So we, we plant sorghum Sudan grass and uh, Sometimes uh, sun hemp, and that gives us food and cover. Then the other food plots I have are for deer hunting, which is, I love to deer hunt, always have, and then turkey hunting as well. We share the property. Always glad to see young people come out of the classroom in the forest. I, I think we've been doing that with a Pleasant Grove Elementary School at Hollis for, I think, over 20 years. And they come out and have the have their day here and I've had Boy Scout troops that would come and camp out and uh, had church groups that would come and camp out do the same thing so yeah I love to see the young people get involved with it uh, maybe we can pass on love for the land to them there's something about it the satisfaction that I get from plowing a food plot planting trees harvesting trees all that just walking across the land enjoying it I, just something about it deep inside it, it gives me satisfaction and it's just a labor of love that i've been blessed to, to have done for all these years